Thank you, Tom. My name is Julie Kirk. As you all know, I am the User Services Operations Supervisor. That's a really fancy way of saying I do the scheduling for user services, in case you were wondering. Uh, customer service, we all know good customer service when we see it, when we experience it. And what today is about is uh, putting that into words. So what my idea of customer service is, is being ready, being prepared, and being able and willing to help people. So and it doesn't really matter where you are when you're helping them. There are site-specific things that uh, we do that aren't more general, but we do have a general customer service outlook. So mine is to be ready, willing, and able to help patrons. Uh, by being ready, I mean you need to smile and have a good attitude. Attitude is portrayed in your face. It's portrayed in your body language. It is being visible. It's wearing your name badge so that you are identifiable. Um, being greeting people as they pass or as they are walking up, not waiting until they come to you. Having a uh, forward, I guess, thinking customer service model is is what I'm talking about. Instead of sitting at the computer, get up. Stand stand up. Stand at your station. Be ready. You're right there. You're more available if you are not sitting behind a desk and staring at a screen and waiting for people to get totally up to the desk or totally up to you before you're greeting them and saying hello. We have different desks and we have different ideas of what customer service is at those desks. Although we have the same thing, in the south doors, for example, it is a lot of greeting people. Um, and, and that's what we expect out of our students sitting at the south doors, is to be there to help guide people to where they need to go, to uh, say hello or goodbye, whatever the case may be, or in the comments. In the comments, it's different because we have different expectations for our students in the comments for customer service. Our students in the comments do rounds every hour, so you should be going around every hour. And it isn't just counting people's heads that, that you need to be aware of. It's being aware of your surroundings and who is where. If the trash is full, we need to notice that if, and take it out. If there is unattended items, if you see that there is a laptop or a phone or a backpack and it has been unattended, leave one of the cards. That's, that's what we have them for. Leave a card. We should not be picking up things. If a student notices that something has been sitting around for a while, then they should contact a staff member the staff member should handle it. The student should not be picking things up. They can leave a card, that's, that's fine. But leave the stuff as it is. The staff member will make the call either to pick it up or to call the police and have them pick it up, but our students should not be doing that. For attitude, attitude I think is the most important thing because you can tell if somebody is ready and is capable by the look on their face, by how they're sitting, or whatever. So we need to be uh, smiling. If you're sitting at a service point, we need to show that we're friendly. If we are out in the stacks, we need to show that we're approachable. And part of that is how we look. Uh, come ready, come dressed appropriately. <laughs> Don't wear uh, other uh, inappropriate fraternity or sorority <laughs> t-shirts. Um, we, we need to look professional because overall we are a job, not just a 
stopping point for for the students. We are the, the students for this. Is, this is a real job. It's not something to do. I guess if that makes sense. Uh, we need to be interested in what the patron is saying. We need to be able to listen to what they are saying by listening. We can't infer what they're trying to get across. Um, we need to let them finish out their thought before we automatically step in and, and say something. I, I know I'm really bad at that. I do that all the time. I want to step in and, and finish them because I think I know what they mean. And they could mean something else. And I think Anna will go over more things on how to do reference and, and how to go over that with you. Um, for Overall, we're, we're a service provider, so we need to be in a service mode. We need to be in the customer service mode. We need to smile. We need to get up. We need to walk around. We need to look at it from their perspective, what we expect good customer service to be, so do they. So, my time is short.